everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. I'm Steve Bagwell, Vice President of Venues with the Charlotte Regional Visitors Authority. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Convention Center for what's really a momentous occasion. In February, the Convention Center will celebrate 25 years of service to the community, having welcomed more than 11 million people through its doors. Some of the guests have been residents of Charlotte and Mecklenburg County, and of course, millions more have been visitors to the city, many of which their first visit to Charlotte was when they walked in the Convention Center doors. In those 25 years, the Convention Center has played host to five U.S. presidents, served as a backdrop for three movies, one television show, and we've had boats, cars, helicopters, and even cattle on display down our exhibit halls. Uh, before we get going, I wanted to take a moment to recognize the legacy of all the folks that have contributed to the success of the Convention Center. One of those special people is in the room today. I think I saw Steve Camp in the room. Mr. Camp, can you stand up for just a second? <clears throat> Steve Camp was Managing Director of the Coliseum Authority from 1987 to 1997, and this building was constructed under his watch. We thank you and all the team members that have made this a special place to work all these years for your service. Thank you, Steve. The expansion of the Charlotte Convention Center is a project that's been long in the making and one that requires significant planning, coordination, and communication. And there are so many people and organizations that have contributed to the success of this project to this point. Uh, I'd like to recognize them as we embark on this two-year-long construction project. Uh, when I call your name out, if you would, just give a quick wave so folks in the room uh, know who you are. Uh, from the City of Charlotte General Services team, uh, this is a city building and the project is being run by the city. This team is responsible for that execution and they're amazing partners. Uh, that team's led by Angela Lee. Monifa Woodside is our project manager. She has been an amazing leader on this project, Manifa. Thank you for your leadership and all that you've done. Mike Davis, William Haas, Kristen Belkey, all with General Services team, thank you so much for all you've done to make this project successful. Moving over to the design side, uh, amazing collection of talent that have helped design this project, this expansion. Uh, traveling down from Atlanta this morning, the TVS team, Andy McLean, thank you for being here, Jay Thompson, Lee Gao, amazing work. Trisha Moore on the interiors, thank you for all you've done. LS3P Associates, another amazing team with Chris Ions, David Loy, Paul Koska, thank you for all you're doing. Neighboring Concepts, also very important team members with Daryl Williams and Daryl McNamee, thank you for all you've done on this project. Moving over to the construction side, an amazing joint partnership between three great firms, Holder, Edison Ford, and Leaper. Uh, these guys have been amazing problem solvers. Inevitably, on projects like this, you run into challenges, and they've done an amazing job solving them. Uh, Chad Martin, Ron Leeper, Edison Castles, Sean Haycock, J.R. Maxim, Christina Burns, Mike Moore, Taylor Bodie. Truly, many thanks for all that you've done on this project so far and that you'll continue to do. Uh, from the Charlotte Area Transit System, CATS, we're building as part of this project a pedestrian bridge right next to the transit corridor with the right light rail line. Uh, that is complex and it requires an amazing amount of cooperation and support from CATS. We sure do appreciate the efforts of their leader, John Lewis, Jill Brim, Gary Lee, Steve Newcomb as well. Thank you so much. John Muth as well has been really key on this. Thank you for all your efforts uh, as we've gotten this project underway. Mecklenburg County Code Enforcement. These are the folks that make sure we're building a safe building. Uh, they, they make sure we're doing it right, but they've also been amazing partners. Thank you so much, Patrick Gransom, Greg Baldwin, Howard Grindstaff, and Jeff Vernon. Thank you so much. Uh, the Weston Hotel, you might have noticed that we already have construction barrels in front of the Weston in preparation for the bridge that's being built. Uh, they've been amazing partners led by Leo Procopo. Thank you very much, Leo. Arts and Science Council, uh, this project's going to have an amazing art component to it, principally on the bridge. They've been amazing partners. Carla Hansel, Todd Stewart, thank you for all that you've done. And then last but certainly not least, uh, members of the CRVA team. There, there's too many to, to name in this proceeding, uh, but I did want to highlight some, some really key players. Doug Tober, who's managing the affairs of the CRVA on this project, has done amazing work. Thank you, Doug, for all that you've done. Bill Trippett, general manager of the Convention Center. 
Philip Richardson, uh, who's our chief engineer, who gets the calls at midnight when something comes off the rails. Thank you, Rich, for all that you're doing. Uh, from the marketing team, Laura White has been an amazing partner. And Karen Brand uh, from the communications team planned the proceedings today. Thank you, Karen, for all that you're doing. So we are proud to ceremoniously get this project underway today. And I say ceremoniously because you might have noticed we've already begun a lot of work. We've begun steel uh, reinforcement with the truss system in the exhibit halls, and the structural work for the pedestrian bridge on the south side of Stonewall Street is already underway. In January, the team will move to the north side of Stonewall to begin structural work on the bridge. And in March, you'll begin to see that new structure being added to the roof line of the convention center. And that's when it's really going to be exciting to see the project come up uh, from the roof of the center. All this is leading up to final inspections in the summer of 2021. And we anticipate opening later in the summer of that year when our very first customers that have contracted to use the new space will come to Charlotte and we're going to be ready to welcome them. So uh, finally, I want to uh, bring up our next speaker. Uh, we are privileged at the CRBA to have a visionary leader, leader who has championed this project from the very beginning. Uh, Tom has also been an amazing problem solver. I don't think we've gotten this done without his great support. Please help me welcome Tom Murray, Chief Executive Officer of the Charlotte Regional Visitors Authority. Thank you. What I didn't, what he didn't say is that before I helped solve some of the problems, he lost lots of sleep thinking about how to solve them as well. Um, when we do things like this, the one thing that is in common with our, our achievements are that we do these things together with lots of people, not just the ones that we work with every day, but the city and all the partners that, that Steve acknowledged. And I also want to thank my team at the CRBA um, for their work. Um, but most of all, I want to thank the mayor for her unwavering support for the hospitality industry. When the hospitality industry is trying to do big things, she's always been there and supportive. And, and we're really grateful. She understands, unlike anyone else, that the power of the hospitality industry and the one in nine jobs in our community that it supports. And, how important our success is. I also want to thank the city council who also understands that and um, gave us a 10 to one vote in support of this funding and uh, we couldn't have done without them. So I wouldn't, but I'd really appreciate if you would stand up so we could thank you. So um, I also um, am um, supported by an incredible board of directors, and uh, I want to thank the board for sweating it out with our team as well and helping us to try to find solutions and, and being there when we were at council meetings and, and making sure that we were doing the right thing through the process. And so to my board, would, the board members that are here, would you mind please standing up as well? The hoteliers in this community have been our partners in this, and um, they've been strong advocates for it and, and for all the success we've had as a visitor economy. Last year, our, our county celebrated $7.4 billion in economic impact from the visitors that come to our city, and it's an incredible um, teamwork that makes that happen. The Visitor Authority acts as, a, as an advocate and runs some of the facilities, but much of the work happens in our restaurants, in our hotels, our bars, and our um, entertainment um, facilities, and we're really grateful for their, for their support. Being out for construction or being slowed during the construction period um, um, is, is, has an impact on their, uh, on their teams and on their performance as well, and we're incredibly grateful for their partnership in, in working through this construction period. We did this expansion because we've been really thoughtful about listening to our customers. We've been doing great research to make sure that we understand um, what, what will make us competitive um, in this um, very competitive uh, convention environment. We also are keenly aware of what our customers' changing needs are and how they've evolved um, since this convention center was booked 25 years ago. And as I say, it's an incredibly competitive landscape and infrastructure is being built all over the country. 
particularly in the cities that we compete with um, the most, like Austin and Nashville and, and uh, other cities that have been making investments in this kind of infrastructure. So we, we committed to doing great research to make sure this decision was based on sound reasoning and sound evidence, and we're really pleased that, um, that um, we think we're building something that is going to allow us to continue to compete into the next 25 years of the Convention Center. I would also say that um, we are keeping and keeping Charlotte um, competitive um, it aligns with our our vision for our organization. We aspire to be one of the most sought after cities um, and destinations in the southeast. Um, we aspire to invest in infrastructure that supports tourism industry and will make us better. Um, we, we, um, we also want to make a positive impact on tourism, on, on the local economy and the jobs that I just talked about, the one in nine people in our community that work in this industry. But we also know that what we do is impacts our community and the people who live in it. And we, we are pleased with the projects that we have partnered with on the city, including the construction of the connector facility between Bojangles and Ovens that is now underway, that are help making our community better for its citizens as well. Um, the expansion's already making a big difference. Um, several groups that couldn't have booked in our facility have now um, committed to holding their large conventions in our facility. We have a greater volume of booking and booking pace than we have ever had for our convention center. So all that research that we did has paid off and showed that um, this additional facility was really needed. Now all we have to do is build it on time for their arrival, and um, we have a great team to make sure that that happens. And the quality of our vets is getting bigger, and more and more folks want to come to Charlotte because of the success that Charlotte is, is, um, is benefiting from. So this is all great news for Charlotte, and, um, and as I said before, there's been no bigger supporter of the tourism industry and the work that we're doing at the CRBA than our mayor of our city, and um, I welcome Mayor Vial Lyles to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, I am especially glad to be here. I was just here last night. There was a big party in the um, ballroom yesterday, last evening, and now this morning you all showed up, so I'm impressed with that. Um, but I want to thank um, a few people. So um, we have several members of our, of our city council here. One over here, Ed Driggs. Um, Larkin Eggleston and Tark Bakari. I hope I haven't missed anyone else, but I want you to know that the city council may have a lot of debates and sometimes a few disagreements, but on the one thing that we do agree upon is the hospitality industry is so important to our economy. It gives people opportunities that they wouldn't have had without having this entry level place to grow and be. So thank you all for supporting this. I want to thank the board members. Um, you know, I served on the CRVA board for a while, and it's not always the cheerful action that you think about, because these folks have to really work to attract and have a strategic plan that works for this entire city, and actually for this entire state. Because what they produce and people coming here, they often say, you're in Charlotte, but the trip afterwards can be to the beach or to the mountains, and as well across our region. And so this is really an important day for us. I also want to say that there are some things that the city is committed to, and there are people in this audience that I want to say thanks to Steve Camp, um, Ron Kimball, without them, who knows where we would be today in our hospitality industry and our um, services to provide entertainment and opportunities, again, to our residents. I also want to thank Ron Leeper. Now, I know he doesn't expect this very much, but you know, when I ran for office the first time, Ron and I went out and asked people, um, would you hire people that hadn't gotten a chance to have an entry-level job? And we talked to people about coming into the construction industry one at a time with a mentor. And at the time, I remember doing this, it was $11 an hour. We thought if we could get those folks at $11 an hour, we would have been successful. Some of those people that came in at 11 are now making 25 an hour. But Ron's going to be on this project, and he's going to do the same thing. We'll have to ask $15 to $16 an hour this time, Ron. But I want you to know you've been steadfast on pathways for work for people in the city, and we very much appreciate your focus, 
your energy and your compassion for that. So this is a big step for us. It's going to be a little bit more disruption downtown. I've started actually reading the closed street memos that they send us because one day I was coming down on Stonewall and I was like, oh my God, I'm never going to get out of this traffic right now. And it was a big hole in the street, but there were people digging it with walls appropriately. No OSHA complaints for us. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to beginning because when you have a new beginning, you have an end. And when we have that in, we know that we're going to continue to be the best destination for large conferences and events in our state. We are the reputation of a city that believes that we can do everything. We can actually be the best city in this country if we plan and work well together. So you know, every one of you that's standing here probably has something to do, a touch point in this project. And I want to say that this isn't about the city, it's about what you do to make that touch point work. So all of us can look forward to a great completion as we begin this year. And I don't want to say how long it's been, but I think I actually worked with a few people on the beginning of this um, convention center 25 years ago. But you know, those 25 years have treated us all so well. As you know, we knew that we could have this convention center in our center city. And we knew that it would grow. I remember the you know, plans for the train to come through and how important that was and people just didn't think we could do it. I do remember the times that the floor shook because the Mary Kay ladies were doing the bunny hop <laughs> all at one time. But all of those were small things that really exhibited our success. And so what I want you to know is that 25 years ago we started something and we're still on that path of success. We've seen the impact. We've hit high numbers for the last several years. 700, 7 million hotel room stays annually. Hotel revenue of $800 million. Over 63 million in our occupancy tax revenues. And with this expansion, who knows where that can go? You know, it's. They've given me some words, they've said, this is a renovation. Well, you know, for me, we're not renovating, we're moving ahead, and it's always about new. It's about bringing a convention district with our gateway project and our entertainment district. All of this is going to be so that we can have more meetings, more trade shows, more sporting events, and gatherings of all kinds, including the Republican National Convention. So I'm excited to be here today but more importantly, I'm really glad to be able to say thank you to each and every one of you that made this possible. We're going places, guys. We're going someplace because we are going to be the best city in this country, and you're all going to make that difference happen. Thank you so much. Well, this isn't a traditional groundbreaking since we are not actually digging. We're building the new building on top of our existing building. In order to do that, we have to destroy some stuff. And uh, the team that's working in this building knows what that sounds like um, while you're trying to work. But we are going to begin our groundbreaking by, uh, by breaking um, by breaking something instead of um, digging something. So, uh, Mayor, I, I join, hope you would join me over here at the cement block, and we'll see if we can break cement.